Hi again Red Base. Today we're looking at another number story and today our number is number five. So here's our number story for today. Miss Kaylee and Miss Isha, they drove to the shop. They wanted to go and buy some sweeties because they were going to a party. Look at all of the sweeties they found here. The shop only had five sweeties left. So Miss Kaylee got two red sweeties. She put them in her basket. And Miss Isha got three green sweeties. Put them in her basket. At the party they put all of their sweets together. All out on the table for everyone to share. So this is our number story about the number five because they have one, two, three, four, five sweeties all together. So after you've had another read of the story number five, you might want to have another go at your mind map for today. So remember from our previous days of our mind map, We've got to do these different bits, do these different jobs. So we can draw it. You might want to draw five sweeties. You can write the number five. Have a go at writing the numeral here. Can you say something about the number five? Think back to the story. And how can you say it? And in this box here, there might be a few different ways of how you can represent the number five. I've done a few different ways here of how we can do the number five. You might do number five like this. We have one of your sweeties and four of your sweeties. So one plus four and it equals five. Let's have another look down here. This is another way you could share out your sweeties. Two plus three, and it still equals five. And let's have a look at one more. This is sharing the sweeties out with all of your friends. We've got one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one and it still equals five. So you could do any of them ways in here. In the represent it. You might think of some different ways you want to represent your number five. And when you finish doing your mind map for today, you might want to make up your very own math story because you've had some ideas now through the week. So you can have a think if it might be yourselves going to the shop to buy something, or your friends, or your mummies, or your daddies, or it doesn't have to be going to the shop. You might go to the park to find something. You might go to the park to find some pebbles. You have a think of what you could make your math story about. And mummies and daddies, if you can put your videos and your photos on tapestry, I would love to see some of your children's ideas. Thank you very much for listening to my math stories this week. And we'll see you soon. Bye.